Hi, I'm Joe, and I wanted to review this movie back in January, but it's kind of hard to get excited for a movie called Frozen when your car looks like this. So okay, I waited a while, I reviewed the movies nominated for Best Picture, I waited for Spring to Sprung, you know, and I decided, okay, March is a good enough time, you know, long enough time to wait. So I go out and my car still looks like this. So thanks to the beautiful invention of Amazon On Demand, I could finally tell you what the average consumer thinks of Frozen. Summer in the city of Arendelle. It couldn't be warmer. It couldn't be sunnier. But that's about to change forever. Arendelle. It's completely frozen. Cold, 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 cold. A real howler in July. Yeah? The land's covered in eternal snow. Really? Now let me just start off by saying I'm giving this movie a recommend. I really like this movie. And I really like this movie for this great reason of uh, this is the first time in a long time that the characters in a Disney movie aren't the stars. They're not filled with gimmicky traits or catchphrases for the trailer that your kids can say over and over again, which are just basically, you know, an advertising slogan to see the movie. I have nothing against the characters, but the star of this movie is the story. This movie is filled with plot and, you know, constant twists and turns and turns and twists and twists and turns and, uh, the, basically the, uh, the essential plot is uh, about a queen who has the ability to make ice and snow. And when her abilities get out of control, she decides to isolate herself in isolate get it uh, herself in a mountain. And her sister, the princess, has to go after her to convince her to unfreeze the town that she froze. And that's where the story begins. And then there's so much more after that, where because the characters did this, they have to do that. And because the characters do that, they have to do this. And um, I really like that. And they did have a character in there for comic relief. And at first I'm like, I kind of do without him. But then I realized he has his own little tragic story. Basically, he's a snowman that wants to know what summer is like. And no one has a heart to tell him what would happen if he was in the sun. Uh, however, the character's really likable. Uh, I like that they got around the whole talking animal trick, and they you'll see what they did. When you see this movie, you'll like, you know, you're like, oh, okay, now the animals are talking, but they still are talking to animals. If you like Tangled, you'll love this. Uh, and I just felt like maybe, maybe this is, maybe a, this is me as an adult talking, but it felt like there was too many, one or two too many songs. It felt like in the first third of the movie, every time a character said hi, you said it in song. And every time you met a new character, you said it in song. And it felt like every time a character did something new, they did it in song. But, and, it, and I can imagine myself as a kid going, being bored if there's too many songs. You know, um, so, but again, it's a Disney movie. Uh, I, other than that, I really like this movie. And... I give it a recommend, and that's what the average consumer thinks of Frozen.